Hello friends, welcome back to channel. Today is 10th of April 2023 and in this video we are going to see the important current affairs from 10th of April 2023. Our first question is Dr. Purnima Arvoni has recently died at the age of 63. Who was she? A writer, eminent lawyer and former chairperson of National Commission for Women and all three are correct. Correct answer is option number four. All three are correct. Dr. Purnima Arvoni was an Indian lawyer, a author and a social worker. She has served as the chairperson of National Commission for Women from 2005 from 2000 uh, sorry 2002 to 2005 she has recently died at the age of 63 in 1997 in uh, in 1997 she authored a book titled indian judiciary a tribute and was conferred the achari tulsi kartitva puraskar in 2003 so answer will be option number four all three are correct next the tallest football stadium in india is built at which of the following places answer is option number one ladakh highest altitude football stadium in india has been built in ladakh recently this stadium has been built at an altitude of nearly 11000 11000 feet above the sea level and it is among the top 10 in the world so answer will be option number one ladakh next in which of the following states Gaj Utsav has been organized from 7 to 9th April 2023? Answer is option number 1 Assam. The uh, our, uh, President of India, Daupadri Murmu, has recently inaugurated the Gaj Utsav 2023 at the Kazaranga National Park in Assam. The Gaj Utsav 2023 is a, a significant event in India that commemorates the 13th anniversary of Project Elephant, a flagship conservation initiative launched by the government of india in 1992 and this event has been organized to promote awareness about the conservation of elephants and their habitats uh, reduce human elephant conflict and ensure the welfare of captive elephants so answer will be option number one this festival or this so-called gaj Utsav 2023 has been organized from 7 to 9th april 2023 in assam next who among the following has recently became the first women to umpire a men's international T20 match? Answer is option number 4, Kim Cotton. Kim Cotton is a New Zealand cricket umpire and she recently became the first woman on field umpire in a full member uh, men's T20 international during New Zealand and uh, New Zealand's and uh, Sri Lanka match. She has previously officiated in 54 in 54 women's T20 international both as an on field umpire and TV umpire. Uh, so answer will be option 4 Kim Cotton. Next who among the following has recently been awarded France highest civilian award Knight of the Legion of Honor and service option 4 Kiran Nadar. Kiran Shiv Nadar or Kiran Nadar is an Indian art collector and philanthropist. She is the wife of Shiv Nadar, the founder of HCL Technologies and a trustee of the Shiv Nadar Foundation and the founder of the Kiran Nadar Museum of Art and she has been recently awarded with the France highest civilian award uh, titled Knight of the Legion of Honor for the vital role she has played in advancing uh, Indo-French uh, Indo cultural uh, ties and uh, uh, artistic uh, cooperation. So answer will be option number 4, Kiran Nadar. Next question is, who among the following has recently taken charge as the President of National Rifle Association of India that is NRAI? Answer is option number uh, option number 3, Kalikesh Narayan Singh Dev. What is NRAI? Long form is National Rifle Association of India. It was founded in 1951 with a view, with a view to promote and popularize the shooting sports in India. And the uh, first speaker of Lok Sabha, uh, G. V. Maulankar, was the founder and the first president of this NRAI or National Rifle Association of India. And recently, Kalikesh Narayan Singh Dev has been appointed as the new president of this NRAI replacing Raninder Singh replacing Raninder Singh so answer will be option number 3 next which of the following countries awarded Vladimir Zelensky with order of the white eagle answer is option number 2 Poland recently Poland has awarded uh, Ukraine's president Vladimir Zelensky with this award called order of the white eagle order of the white eagle is Poland's highest order and one of the oldest distinctions in the world still in use it was officially instituted in uh, 1705 
and recently Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky has been awarded with this award for his contributions towards strengthening the relationship between Poland and Ukraine, promoting security and advocating for human rights. Answer will be option number two. Next question is the second meeting of the G20 Development Working Committee has been held from 6 to 9th April 2023 at which of the following places? Answer is option number four. Kumar Kumar Kom Kumar Kom uh, is the place in uh, Kerala and recently the second meeting of G20 development working group has been organized from 7 to uh, 7 to 9 April 2023 at uh, Kumar uh, Kom in Kerala over 150 over 150 delegates and participants from G20 members nine invitee countries and various international and regional organizations participated participated in this meeting so answer will be option number 3 next which of the following banks has recently launched an app called digital shop answer is option number one uh, axis bank recently axis bank has uh, launched this app called digital dukan called digital dukan or digital shop this app will enable merchants to accept payment through various digital methods and enable them to manage their day-to-day -day operations so answer will be option number one axis bank axis bank was established on 3rd of december 1993 headquarters is located in mumbai and currently amitabh Saudari is the md and ceo of this axis bank next bharat ratna pandit ravi shankar has recently celebrated or uh, uh, he recently his one third uh, 103rd birth anniversary has been celebrated on 7th of april 2023 he was associated with which of the following instruments answer is option number two satar he was associated with satar or he was satar vadak now uh, we will quickly revise the questions of our last video our first question was in which of the following state is the cop india military exercise being conducted from 10 to 21st april 2023 answer is option number two west bengal aci has recently released the list of world's busiest airport in 2022 indira gandhi international airport delhi has ranked dash in this list it has ranked uh, ninth in this list list so answer will be option number four in which of the following state the union home minister of india amit shah has unveiled a 54 feet tall lord hanuman statue answer is option number one gujarat uh, uh, fourth question was which of the following countries has been ranked first in the recent release fifa ranking 2023 answer is option number three argentina fifth question was Sanjita Chanu, who has been recently banned by NADA for four years, is associated with which of the following sports? Answer is option number four, weightlifting. This question was, as projected by World Trade Organization, what will be World Trade Growth Rate in 2024? Answer is option number one, 3.2%. Which of the following startup companies in India has recently successfully tested a 3D printed cryogenic engine? Answer is option number four, Skyroot Aer Aerospace. Eighth question was, which of the following countries has recently become the first country in the world to launch hydrogen powered trains? Answer is option number two, Germany. World Health Organization has established on uh, or established uh, or, or World Health Organization, that is, World Health, uh, that is WHO, ha, was established on which of the following dates? Date was 7th of April 1948, option number two. And 10th question was, which of the following days celebrated as World Health Day? Answer is option number four, 7th April. These were the questions asked in our last video. Now, answer of the question which was asked to you in the last video question was, who among the following has been recently appointed as new Chief Justice of Chhattisgarh High Court? Answer was option number two, Ramesh Sina. Recently, Ramesh Sina has been appointed as the new Chief Justice of Chhattisgarh High Court. Now today's question, question is, which of the following banks has recently opened its first branch for start -up, uh, startups? Options are State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, Punjab National Bank and Bank of Maharashtra. If you know answer of this question, you can write it in the comment section below or we will discuss question in the next video.